So that was a pretty scary looking and sounding crash that I had happen to me a few days ago. Just as you saw, just by sitting in the Modern Warfare lobby, I was actually supposed to make a video on the new Warzone map. And all of a sudden the thing just crashes and the sound goes all crazy. I'm not exactly sure what causes the crash or what causes it to act that way. Or It's just weird to me that there isn't much going on. It's not like I was in an intense moment of gaming or where frame rate was like too high or there was just too much going on in the game. It was literally sitting in the menu. And this is the second time a crash like that happens. The first time, there wasn't anything crazy happening either. I forgot what game I was playing, but it wasn't much going on. And it also crashed to a blue screen and reoriented the screen and did the scary sound of like, brrr, like it just looks all crazy. And I know some people are probably thinking, see, this is why you shouldn't run Windows on your Steam Deck. Steam OS is better. Steam OS has better performance. Steam OS doesn't crash. This is why you should have never put Windows on your Steam Deck, blah, 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 blah. I don't how many videos on Steam Deck using Windows and playing games have I made already to this point? I'd say a pretty good amount and I'm going to keep making them. It's not like it was so terribly like crashed that it bricked the system. It was nothing like that. We clearly are still back in uh, my desktop and it looks just fine. Everything works as intended. I have already played plenty since the time of that crash. Obviously things like this are going to happen when you're using an OS that isn't technically intended to be on here by default. It's not something they have personally tested and used and made sure everything works. It's something that us, the user, has to experience to see what happens, like what are the bugs, what are the things that are happening that are negative, negatively impacting the system. In this case, I can't really tell you what caused the crash, like I said, but I am aware that things like this will happen. So before anyone becomes a negative Nancy and just <laughs> starts saying, delete Windows now since you crash, you don't want to experience a crash like that again, do you? It's a learning experience. We're gonna crash. I've said it in many videos before, we're going to play the game if it lets us play it. We're going to crash if it makes us crash. We're going to go with it to see how it works. And so far, nothing on Windows 11 has been so terrible that has led me to just delete the entire OS. I understand that I'm going to crash. I am not going to play competitive lobbies and competitive games on here while uh, testing an OS that might crash while I'm in the middle of a tournament or something mind you you guys have seen the gameplay there's probably no chance of me participating in any tournaments anytime soon the amount of skill that i have showcased on this channel clearly i am not negatively impacted in any way by the uh, crashes that i've experienced two months two crashes and they were both within the last few weeks so i wonder if it's just one of the more recent windows updates or anything like that causing it because i haven't done anything different with the system I haven't downloaded any third-party software recently that has caused anything. Most of the stuff that I have on here have been on here for quite a while. This issue wasn't anything so huge that I had to like reset Windows or reinstall anything or go back to SteamOS. It literally, as you saw in the end of the video there, at the end of the clip where the crash happens, it crashes, it goes to the blue screen, and then it just automatically restarts itself, and then it just takes me right back to my desktop. So both times it has done that. It has resetted by itself and restarted and just put me back into Windows on its own, which is great. I didn't have to do anything. If the worst of the worst was to happen, and I've said this before, like if any crash or anything leading to the system just being like bricked or just not working at all because of the OS, I would then go into maybe re-downloading Windows or maybe putting the default Steam OS on the system, deleting whatever's on here, using it, using an SD card, going into BIOS and doing what I have to do to recover or reset the, the system to factory uh, settings. Luckily, I haven't had to do anything like that. After crashes have happened, I've just literally gone back in and just kept playing. And I think I even said in the last video where I said that I had a crash, I said, hopefully, I'm not hoping for a crash, but if it happens, I can at least show you. And in this case, I was recording and was able to capture the crash. And it's just one of those things where I want to show you that obviously Windows is not perfect running on here. I don't want anyone to think that this is the ideal way for you to use the system. I'm just showing you how it works and what are some of the things that can happen when using this OS on the Steam Deck. That's pretty much it for this video. I will continue using Windows 11. The crash was just a little update video. Hopefully this doesn't happen to any of you guys, obviously. Um, any crash is just negative in general. It might ruin your gaming experience. You might lose a save point or something in a game. So all in all, hopefully it doesn't happen. 
but just be aware that it can happen but it's not the end of the world if it does this is technology it's bound to mess up at some point i will see you guys on the next one peace